Dialogic reading. A child with language difficulties is at higher risk for eventual reading and writing difficulties. One way to help prevent or attenuate such difficulties is by reading books together regularly, once per day if possible. Reading is also an effective way to boost your child's language skills. It is even more effective if you help your child become the storyteller and turn book reading into a conversation. There are two important acronyms that will help you do this, CROWD and PEER. Using the acronym CROWD, you can prompt your child to say something about the book. There are five different types of prompts that you can use. So C is for completion prompts. You leave a blank at the end of a sentence and get the child to fill it in. These are typically used in books with rhyming or books with repetitive phrases. So for example, you might say he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house, letting the child fill in the blank with the word down. R is for recall prompts. These are questions about what happened in a book. For example, you might say, can you tell me what happened to the wolf in this story? Recall prompts can be used at the beginning of the book if the child has read the book before or at the end of the book if it's a first read. O is for open-ended prompts. These prompts focus on the pictures in the book. For example, while looking at a page in a book that the child is familiar with, you might say, tell me what's happening in this picture. Next, WH prompts. These prompts usually begin with what, who, where, when, why, and how questions. Like open-ended prompts, WH prompts focus on pictures in the book. For example, you might say, What's the name of this while pointing to an object in the book? You can also use these prompts to talk about the important elements of the story. So for example, who is the story about and where does the story take place? This type of prompt should be used sparingly because WH questions are not as effective in keeping the conversation going. Lastly, D for distancing prompts. These ask children to relate the pictures or words in the book they are reading to experiences outside of the book or personal experiences. For example, while looking at a book with a picture of a pig, you might say something like, remember when we went to the farm last week? What color was that pig? Now that we've completed the acronym CROWD, remember that the second important acronym is PEER. So P is for prompt your child to say something about the book. That's where you can use the five types of prompts we have just discussed. E is for evaluate your child's response. For example, here we can say something like, that's right, it is a truck. Second E is for expand your child's response by rephrasing and adding information to it. For example, you can say, this is a truck used by firefighters. It is called a fire truck. And lastly, R, for repeat the prompt to make sure your child has learned the explanation and the expansion. So for example, a truck used by firefighter is called a, and wait for the child to fill in the blank with fire truck. There you have it. You now know how to use dialogic reading. Good luck and have fun.